Hey you guys, what's going on? I just want to say welcome back to another video. Also want to let you guys know that we dropped these killer shirts for the 4th of July. Lady Liberty holding deer sheds and elk sheds. I mean, does it get any better than that? I don't think so. So grab you one if you want one for the 4th of July. And just as a reminder, every $30 you spend during the month of June on my store gets you entered to win a Vortex Rangefinder. So get you some stuff. And I appreciate you guys shopping on my store. And I hope you enjoy this video. This video is just a bunch of random summer clips from everything we've been doing. Shooting bows, scouting, going to shed and tell. I have another one of these videos uh, that I'm going to get up in the next week or so too. So look forward to that one. But hope you guys enjoy it. Smoke team. Is he down? Hey friends. I missed you guys. It's been a long time. Um, we had some videos last week and stuff, but we've just been doing kind of family stuff, hanging out this summer and it's hotter than Hades. We don't want to do anything, but we came to the shooting range tonight. We've been dropping some bombs. We've been shooting here for oh, a half hour, long enough to burn out these tender arms. But we're going to throw some down 70 yards at the bull elk and see what we do. I'm um, gonna do this and then I'm headed up tomorrow or the next day to Shed and Tell. I'm gonna show you guys a little bit of that and then I'm headed to Texas. So kind of a bounce around video, show you everything that we're up to this time of year. You guys think I can shoot this ball at 70 yards unedited, no matter what the shot is, it's staying in the video. No clips, no cuts, zoom in on that bad boy. 70 yard bull elk. We're gonna pretend this is the general Utah elk hunt. I've been hunting the whole hunt, and that's a, like a 350 bull. All right? He walked up at 70. He stops. Hold on. I'm going to rearrange him. We're giving this away, by the way. If you guys spend 30 bucks on my store, you're entered to win this rangefinder. Well, a new version of this rangefinder in the box. Let's, let's show him the rangefinder again, because your boy is zoomed. So all you gotta do is spend thirty dollars on getshedcrazy.com and you're entered to win this. This is the new Viper from Vortex Optics, and they're legit. They're so good. And I might even give away another one too, because Vortex is sending me a crossfire of this same series. So what the heck? Maybe we'll just give it away too. We'll see. For sure, the Viper is going in the giveaway. Spend thirty bucks on my store before the end of June, and you're entered to win. Looking at me. Can I kill him? Stop him! Stop him! been fun out here shooting it's funny when you don't do it a lot you don't put a lot of arrows through your bow like we've kind of just not shot that much lately your arms burn out so much quicker so it's really worth doing a good amount of arrows every day so this year i'm shooting this is the prime inline five I'm super stoked to be shooting it i think this pattern's called ridge tan rock ridge or something like that tan and then i have the first light fusion on the limbs and i think these are 70 pound limbs i'm shooting this bow i think it's pulling just over 70 maxed out um, and I've been loving it so far. It's been awesome. Uh, I shoot a Vapor Trail limb driven rest on it. And then I have this black gold slider on there. I'm not a fan of black gold, I'll just say it. Um, I've had issues with these sights, I don't love them. I do have a sight pre ordered from Dialed. I don't know if you guys have seen those or not, but I'm excited to get that. And I threw a tight spot. I think this is a five. One, two, three, four, five. I threw this on new for this year too. So that's the setup. Um, I've been toying around with the knock on uh, thumb release. The knock to it and then this is just a regular true fire that i bought forever ago i'll probably hunt with this i don't know something about the thumb release hitting my bino harness kind of makes me a little bit nervous but yep that's kind of the archery setup rocky shooting the nexus what is that the four Nexus four. Yep. from last year um so prime's making some killer bows and as you guys know they are a great sponsor of our channel they help us out with a lot of stuff and we also worked out a deal so we're going to be shooting g5 broadheads this year under the same banner as prime really cool company and uh, they make some awesome stuff something for everybody fixed blades expandables you name it small game heads they got it so we're stoked to be working with those guys 
it's almost archery season. A couple months here, we'll be out chasing critters. Got all applied for the draw, jaws and stuff. So let's just keep this video rolling. And we'll show you guys what's going on with Shed and Tell. So I'm gonna show you guys a little bit of the shed and tell here. We're here. Rise and Shed puts this thing on every year, Wes, and I'm gonna take you guys around and show you some of the antlers that we got. But these deer sets are freaking rad. So give us a rundown. All right. So this was last year. Pretty sweet buck. My little brother found him actually. But this set right here found him this year. <laughs> Same buck. 500 yards apart from each other. The two sets, they're both side by side, but. Sweet yeah, buck. Pretty lucky there. Yeah, man, those are killer. Then I was looking at this typical too, this thing, look at that brow tine, and then I was amazed how long some of these deer can sit out there, but killer frame on that buck, some good elk horn, moose horns. Pretty good work, fellas. Thank you, thank you. Good job. YouTube, but. All right, you guys, check out this bull, this deadhead bull. What's your name, George, right? George, yeah. That's what I thought. So George picked this bull up. So I picked this bull up. Um, I was out shed hunting, and I was gonna head back to the car. Took a, just took a pause in the hike, looked to my left, and I just see these tines sticking up out of the ground. Uh, he got hung up around a tree. DWR came out, did their investigation, and got to take it home, so. Sweet. My buddy at Trophy Room Taxidermy down in St. George cleaned up the skull real nice. Shout out Trophy Room, CJ's the man. Sweet, man, it's a great looking bull. I love that bull's thirds. Like that bull's over 20 on his thirds and then he's about 20 on that second point too. So killer fine, man, good job. So this set right here, I wanted to show you guys. This is a set owned by my buddy Jared Steele right there. That's him, that's his back. He's an awesome antler buyer. One of the best in the business guy I deal with, but one of the most impressive three point frame bucks of all time. Like the G2s on that buck are, dude, they gotta be like 20 inches. I think he said that three point side's 93. Yeah, so yeah, 93 on that side. But a wild buck, I think he's a Colorado deer. And if I remember correctly, the guy that sold him was like maybe walking his dog and he found him, but <laughs> freaking crazy, huh? Yep, so Jared's the man, he's a good antler buyer. He's got some cool stuff here, including this crazy deadhead. Like what even is that? 250 inch deer. And then big elk stuff. And then this farm bull is insane. So crazy. And then these kids right here are deer horn fiends. Every time, every time I open the ground, they got another stupid deer horn. Like, God, look at the freaking face on that thing. Give me a rundown, man. What's the best? What do I need to see? That thing is we'll gnarly. Oh my heck, dude. Look at the freaking. Ugh. Here's a couple singles. 80, 86, 88. <laughs> Got a couple years off this deer. Call him Mr. Krabs. Dude, that buck is so sweet. There's two more years off of him. Oh my Bro God. Outdoors. On Instagram has a brown set off of them. Yep, I remember that set. Yeah. The Man. outdoor bros. Yeah, here's a <laughs> one of my favorite sets just because he has almost 22 inch G2s. Oh my god. Apparently Wes has a couple years off this deer. Uh oh. Yeah, that's what he says. No, I'm happy for him. Yeah. Honestly. Another good single. Sick. Another set. Colin picked this up. Two years off that deer. Man, this is a this is a general season deer. I got 80 yards from this deer during the bow hunt, and, and then we uh, set out to find his sheds, and my brother picked him up. Helen's right at 88 broke. That's a tank buck. Another general oh, season man, buck. Oh man, all the length on that deer. Big old front end. And then found mm. this side by side. 
got lost for about eight hours after I found this thing. <laughs> <laughs> Too excited to find yeah. camp? <laughs> yeah. That buck's killer, man. I love his ridges and palmation. Oh, yeah. This is a two-point that I still, to this day, I haven't really seen a two-point this big. That buck's dirty. He has 18-inch twos. This was repaired right here, but I'm sure it matched this side. 26-inch yeah. beams. Just a tank. Score doesn't matter on that one. Yeah, right? shoot him. Big buck. And oh big my buck gosh, shot. dude. I that bet freaking, you remember that one. What is going on with that heavy tank buck? Yep, I found this side, and then his brother Wyatt found this side, and he was nice enough to give it up. Ooh, man. He's a good a, friend. A mile apart. Yeah, that was his biggest horn to date. He cried. <laughs> yeah. yeah, I would have cried he, too, man. Hold that. Dre picked up that. And then here's another set off of him. My dad picked this one up, and my brother picked this one up. I think he's 195-ish right here. Ugh. Still haven't recovered this side. Yeah. You know, just solid buck. You Tank, know? man. You guys are putting in the work. Big mule there consistently is tough, man. It's. There's nothing like it, oh. you know. It's it's a mind game out out there. Yeah, it really like is. Miles and miles. It's um, I don't know. I just kind of have a sweet spot for deer. I always have when I was young. Yeah. You know, my dad just kind of grew us up into the big deer lifestyle. So here we are, still pounding ground. Picked yeah. Up, pick this up. Uh, pick this up right out of camp. <laughs> I, uh, I sweet. That. I walked past it, and then on my way back happened to step on the thing yeah do you guys want to plug the gram or where are you guys posting this stuff where can people see it um you got youtube i i don't have any gram no youtube oh, no. social some what a man that i picked up like this is on youtube you can go to bone magnet that's my channel Sweet. a few of these are actually then, in the video so if yeah. you want to check that out my instagram instagram is keandre joseph same with my tiktok cool Freaking sweet. That's a strip horn. You can just tell by looking at <laughs> just it. Just built like one. Yeah. I think that one's 88, eight or nine points. My yeah. brother picked that one up, and I was, I was shitting, dude. <laughs> I was like, yeah. He went, He was on a huge dry spell, and he picked it up, and that just makes it all worth it. Right? For sure, man. Well, you guys got a killer collection right here. Well, thank you, man. It's, I can't. We can't take the credit for everything. My brother also has some horns here. Yeah. yeah. My dad has a couple. So this is years. This is Kingston's set, his first elk set. That you he picked, picked those? Yeah. Dude, that's a sweet looking bull. Got that little web point in between the mm -hmm, yeah. sword and the fifth. I love He's that. He's got the genetics to be something really yep. special. You gonna keep those forever? Yeah. Got yeah. to. Can never give those up, huh? Yeah. It's funny, that's man. I've been seeing you guys since you were little kids. Yeah. You know, that's Out there the running thing, around, like, picking them up. Deer, like, dude, just horns in general are too sentimental to me. Yeah. I can't let them go. Yeah, it's worth keeping deer anyway. But yeah. you guys go check these guys out on the gram and find some more, see some more horns. What is happening, Pete? Um, this is my first official deer scouting trip of the year. And I'm excited to be back up here. I am out of shape, it's not fun. But I've got camp on my back, so I'm spending the night up here. I'm set up a few cameras, even though I've got to take them down in about a month and a half. Um, just kind of get a good idea of what's up here. I want to come up here at least two more times before the season starts. So I can A, get in shape, and B, just kind of see what's going on. I've got a muzzle loader tag this year. So a lot of these pictures I'm getting now will be of deer and velvet and We'll see if they move too much. Getting close to my first place I usually put a camera on and I'll uh, show you guys my setup. So this is the water that I usually put it on. Um, normally that's about twice as full this time of year. So that is not good. Um, I'll still set it up here, see if we can get a few, but I really like this spot. Lots of green grass, lots of cliffy stuff that they can go bed in. And I typically get a few good bucks on this camera every year. So let's get set up. Alrighty, we're all set up and on. Come on, come on, come on. Big buck, come get a big drink. Let's go. Been walking around trying to find a spot out of the wind. I just found an old mattress. I better freaking sleep on that tonight. That could be nice. 
wire spring mattress. Will finally found a spot. Pretty bare bones tonight. That's all right. I'm just trying out, seeing how it is without like a tent or something around you to cut out the wind, see if it's if the wind's gonna cut through that sleeping bag really bad or what. But uh, yeah, looks, looks comfy to me. Let's see about the bugs too. That's the other thing I really worry about. Not worry about, but I don't like bugs crawling on my face. So we'll see how they are to deal with without any sort of net. Well, I did not sleep good at all last night. Couldn't get my brain to shut off and just go to bed. But I got up this morning, like I slept a little bit, got up this morning, I left my stuff behind because I'm going to be going back there anyway. Um, so I'll just pick it up there, but walked another four miles to my next spring. Uh, this one is looking actually pretty decent. Um, it's got good water flow, which is surprising to me. I mean, it's still early, but uh, from the looks of that other spring, I thought this one was going to be bad. But yeah, got good water flowing, made myself a little spot so I can filter some water right there, get one set up on this. All right, folks, thank you for watching that video, making it through. <clears throat> and I do need to thank some people who bought apparel. Um, so this is from the last couple weeks. We haven't made a video, so there's a lot. So you may have to bear with me, but to everybody who ordered, if you don't want to wait it out and hear your name, thank you very much. I appreciate you guys. The 4th of July shirts so far have been crushing. So go to shedcrazy.com get shedcrazy.com and uh, check those out if you want. So, <clears throat> excuse me, here's the orders that we have. First up, we have Ben McRae. Thank you, Ben. Uh, James Sanchez, Steve Schneider, uh, Tyrell Perkins, uh, Kevin Leaf, Kevin Lamb, double Kevin's there. Tracy Corwin, my good old buddy from Georgia. Thank you, Tracy. Uh, Aaron Mathers, <clears throat> Tyler Shippey, Aiden Walters, uh, Wyatt Matthews, Nicholas Schaefermeyer, Mark Reg, who is uh, in strong contender for number one customer. Uh, Chance Campbell, Tyler Scott, Bradley Iverson, uh, Wyatt Brown, Sebastian Theron, Nicholas Anderson, Kurt Mode, Dylan Roberts, Nicholas Anderson again, double order, thank you, buddy. Jason Lukenhoff, Kobe Bruhl, or Gruel, sorry. Uh, Conley Heaton, Weston Smith, Josiah Thomas, Tomaszewski, Josiah, I apologize, uh, <laughs> Stacy Miller, Gay Bowens, Ronnie Varela, uh, Jason Sonnenberg, George Mumford, my good old brother-in-law, thanks Georgie for getting all the stuff for the boys for the 4th of July, Tyler Miller, Cody Riley, Justin Thompson, Michael Mowers, uh, Gabe Cassell, Kyle Nelson, Dylan Huber, Tyler Porter, Braden Trago, uh, Chelly Jackson, Kylan Cohen, Ali Gunderson, uh, Gage Vindiola, Carson Potter, and Josh Carter. And then the last one just came through, Cody Gibson. But thank you guys. It's Josh Carter. That was a huge order. That's the second big order I've seen come through. I really appreciate that, man. And to everybody who's supporting this 4th of July sale, I love putting shirts out with a flag on them because that means so much to me. And I hope you guys enjoy your Independence Day and your holiday with those that you love. That's an important thing and it means now more than ever. But thank you guys for watching this video. Thanks for making it clear to the end. I appreciate you guys. I wouldn't be able to do this without you. So thanks for watching. We'll see you on the next one.